Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas swore in a unity government, taking a major step toward ending a crippling territorial and political split with the rival Hamas militant group, but also setting the stage for new friction with Israel. Just minutes before the start of the swearing-in ceremony, Hamas officials announced that the dispute had been resolved, though the nature of the compromise was not immediately clear. The formation of a unity government is the most significant step yet towards ending a political split that has weakened the Palestinian case for a state in the West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem lands Israel captured in 1967. Shortly after Monday's ceremony, Abbas headed the first cabinet meeting. Abbas loyalists retain key positions, including economy, finance, interior, and foreign affairs, while others will be headed by independents. The three new ministers from Gaza were absent because Israel had not issued them a travel permit. The West Bank and Gaza lie on opposite ends of Israel. Abbas told the ministers that the new government is committed to the idea of a state in the pre-1967 borders. Bob McCall, Associated Press.